Hello and welcome to this week's edition of CCC Connect. My name is Justin Morn and I'm the Director of Spiritual Formation and Experiential Learning here at Central Christian College. I'd like to make you aware of some things taking place, some ways to connect with what's happening here at Central Christian College. If you love to watch basketball, there's a couple of games taking place this week right here, home games that are streamed live for everyone to watch. One takes place Wednesday the 27th, and it takes place at 7.30 p.m., and it's versus Northern New Mexico. The women play on Saturday the 30th. They play at 3 p.m. versus Tabor College. To watch those, all you have to do is go to cccTigers.com and look for the Watch Live link that's on the right-hand side. I'd also like to make you aware that our new chapel schedule will be placed up this week at centralchristian.edu slash chapel. You'll see the schedule there as well as the link to watch those live. So we put those up within 24 hours of chapel. And I'd like to make you aware one last time of the sale taking place at the Tiger store. There's 30% off select items. If you would like to go to the store and see what's for sale, go to our centralchristian.edu website and in the upper right hand corner you'll see a buy tiger gear button. Click on that, it'll take you to the store and you can check out the sale. This week I would like to encourage you from a section we find in James. A lot of us have passions and things that we seek after. We have, we have different things that we just, it's really a big part of who we are. But as followers of Jesus Christ, how do we live this out? What is this supposed to look like? In this section of James, as we go through the book of James this semester in our series called New You, we're given a great summary, a thing that can remind us of where our passions dwell and where they come from. We see these passions lived out all around us. In the Middle East, we see a war taking place with ISIS, and these people are passionate about what they believe, and, well, we see things taking place even in the name of God. As Christians, what does that look like for us as we follow Jesus? How are we supposed to live out our passions? Or even in our own country here in Oregon, there's a standoff with some men um, who are passionate about what's taking place with the land in their area. As us, as followers of Jesus, or, or those who call themselves followers of Jesus, how do we live out our passions? Let's look at James. I think it encourages us. And Really, for those of us who say, who really is God? And we're, we're seeking out to find out who he is. We, we see what the heart of this really is as it's summarized in the book of James. We're, we're working our way through one section at a time. And in James chapter 2, starting at verse 8, he's really hitting on this section where he just described what it looks like to live out our faith. He said that there is no, there's no bias. There's, there's no giving favoritism to one over another. And then he gets to this section in James 2, 8. And I'd like to read this to you. Yes, indeed, it is good when you obey the royal law found in the scriptures. Love your neighbor as yourself. But if you favor some people over others, you are committing a sin. You are guilty of breaking the law. He's just talked about favoritism and what it looks like. And if I were to guess why I think James put that right here, it's because oftentimes uh, we think, okay, so I love people. That's really, then I'm done, right? And he says, love really then doesn't have us showing favoritism. We love everyone. In this section, he calls it the royal law. You see, this royal law actually goes back. We find it numerous times in the Old Testament. We see it placed as part of the law to love your neighbor as yourself. As God's describing what it means to be his people, to be holy, and to be set apart for him, he, he describes them to them that they need to love their neighbor as themselves. And then we see Jesus say the same thing. He summarizes the Old Testament law, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. And then here in James again, he's talking about what it looks like to live out our faith. And he reminds us of this found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself. So what does it look like to live out our passions? I think a great summary is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. So I'd like to encourage each of you. As you live out your faith, or as you seek out what does it mean to be a Christian, a follower of Jesus, check and say, where do my passions lie and how do I treat people? Do I truly love God and do I truly love my neighbor? I think it's an encouraging thing to look at and other people will see this and other people will be encouraged as well. I hope you guys have a great week. And as a reminder, if you would like to chat, if you would like to talk, we would love to talk with you. You'll find our contact information at the end of this video. Have a blessed week. Wake up in the morning with a smile on my face Grab a cup of coffee
coffee to start my day. Gather all my books and